Oh, well, I'm, st I'm starving. So I'm resorting to eating the nest. Because everything's supposed to be edible, I think. I'm going in. Sorry, chicks. I hope this wasn't your home. Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome back on board the amazing Anthem of the Seas. We've just woke up after a lovely sleep, haven't we? Yeah, again, though, we were woken up at five o'clock this morning by oh. Michael Flatley upstairs doing his river dance. Yes, once again, we repeat, do not book a cabin below the Lido deck. We were assigned to this cabin, so we didn't pick, but we still think it's worth it because a guaranteed cabin can be a lot cheaper than picking your own room sometimes, and we still, we still think it's worth it. Yeah, apart from that, I mean, it was noisy for about half half an hour and then it stopped and we managed to get back to sleep so apart from that we've absolutely loved the cabin but definitely a top tip there for you join us today as we do loads of fun things will i do the floor rider we're going to try the dodgems on board yes dodgems on a cruise ship loads more food and lots more should we get going let's go for breakfast so let's go i'm hungry there we go david straighten up the bed again we had a big debate on this on youtube and yeah, a did. lot of people do the same thing and it's really nice for the we always leave our cabin in such a lovely state, don't we? I mean, you can see how clean it is before. Because we feel so bad that they have to clean every day. And also embarrassed. I'd be so embarrassed if you see all the state of our cabin if we didn't clean it. And even yesterday, Ben had to go and reserve seats in the show while I tidied up the cabin for 10 minutes because it was an absolute bomb site. Yeah, no way I'm going to let somebody <laughs> tidy up our mess for us because they've got the crew doing an amazing job. Yeah, they and do. And have such a hard job anyway, so we want to make it as easy as possible, don't we? They, we do. And also, like, geniuses and magicians. How do they make these beds so perfectly? This is my fourth attempt. And it looks an absolute mess. Oh, well. <laughs> you did a good job anyway. Well done, David. Thank you. Thanks. Anyway, let's go. Oh, actually, first of all, I was going to say let's go, but I want to go check to see what the weather's like outside. Go on, then. Oh, oh, it's a... It's a, a tad on the fresh side this morning. We've made our way back north. I don't know why we're making our way north so soon. Stay south so we can keep the nice warm weather. Cannot believe it's July and the weather we've been having in the UK and on our cruises. It must be about 15 degrees now, which is what, about 55 degrees Fahrenheit? Come on, David, let's stop making excuses and go for breakfast in the buffet, the Phoebe buffet. So we just need to flip the thing over. So we're not sleeping off the adventure anymore. We're out catching thrills. And that just signals that you would like your room to be cleaned. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect, let's go. So time for breakfast and today we're going to go and try the buffet. It's open until 11 o'clock this morning. So it's nice if you want a late breakfast, you can nip up there and grab something. Thank you. Hi, morning. Morning. First of all, make sure they wash your hands. And they are making you do it as well. It's strictly enforced on here, which we absolutely love. Let's take a look at the buffet here on Royal Caribbean. And guys, it's huge. So this may take a while. There is so, so much choice. They've got open-faced sandwiches to start with. They've also got sort of like yogurt pots on the other side with uh, fruit and strawberries and things. Over here, they've got a fresh, fresh whole fruit selection with um, some cakes and breads. And then they've also got sliced fruit selections as well, with a small selection of cheeses and meats. Let's get your traditional hot breakfast items. Hello. Good morning, guys. David, I see the dreaded oh my black gosh. pudding. The dreaded black pudding. It's back. Yep, and then you've got your British classics. You've got your bangers, you've got your bacon. Your favourite, Ben, hash browns. Oh, yum. Obviously, depending on the sailing, the breakfast items do change slightly. So if you're on an American sailing, you'll see more American options. You've got an egg station morning, behind morning. you, David. Good morning. Fresh egg station where you can get omelettes or any sort of eggs made to order as well. And then we've got all the compots and the jams. Oh my gosh, Ben, they've even got like sprinkles. I as love if it. For, like for the top of ice cream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that pancake. That looks incredible. Our nephew Oscar will be very jealous right now that he's not here, because that looks absolutely amazing. Again, more, more breakfast items. Oh, they've actually got, they've got chicken sausages as well. More hot breakfast items on this side. Guys, there's so much choice. We've got American bacon as well. Yeah, we've got American bacon, we've got pork sausages, chicken sausages all sorts of sausages so we've got french toast and waffles how awesome do they look they look amazing we have a indian indian section. breakfast selection oh wow oh wow 
So they've got some fried rices and some Indian spiced potato curries. A miso soup station. Yeah, miso soup sewer station. They've got everything, don't they? They've literally got everything. This Absolutely is crazy. Huge. I see yummy desserts on the horizon. Oh my gosh. They actually bake everything fresh on board and they're walking around with pastries that have just came out the oven. They look amazing. But they've got um, donuts. Oh my God, they look incredible, Ben. Danishes, a couple of different donut options and some muffins as well and some sticky buns and lots of sweet treats for your breakfast this morning. But I am super impressed with the look of them donuts. They look really good. And there's the toast station over there as well with bagels and things. Yeah, so at the back is the bakery with the pastry section and that's where they bake all the stuff fresh. You can see the ovens with them baking in the background. So we've got a meat carvery station, even more hot breakfast items. And then you've got milks and yogurts. You can get chocolate milk as well if you really want chocolate milk. Drink station. We've got drink station. And just to say at the moment, they're walking around and it's table service with a drink. So if you just, they'll assign you to a seat and then someone will come and take your drinks order and you can get juices, teas and coffees. Hot oatmeals as well. And here is like the muesli station with all the different toppings and all the fruit toppings and stuff. And then finally, we're back at the beginning and we're going to end the with continental the continental section. selection. Yeah, we've got cold cuts, meats, cheeses, and even more fruit. And I've just seen they've actually got a fruit carving station. I've never seen this on a cruise before. So they're actually carving like fresh watermelon and all sorts just at the back there. That took a while to get <laughs> that around. Took a while. That is the biggest walk around of a buffet I think we've ever done on this channel, ever. Honestly, it's absolutely huge. One thing we like as well, it, it's not one long line. As you can see, there's all different stations all around. So you don't get massive crowds or huge lines. And yeah, it's just a huge selection, lots of food. And possibly, I think, the best buffet we've seen on one of the large ships on any cruise line. It is incredible. Little fun fact as well is all the worktops used to be white and they replaced them uh, a couple of weeks ago in Greece and now they're all granite tops. Looks lovely and new. Little fact there for you. Right, should we go eat? Because that walk around has actually made me slightly hungry. Let's go. So this breakfast looks delicious. I still can't get over the size of it. Honestly, when I went around and filmed all of the little bits, it took me, no kidding, about 20 minutes because it is so huge. And it all looks really good. It's completely replenished all of the time. First of all, I'm gonna try this pastry because apparently it's just been baked right there about five minutes ago. And David said it's excellent. They are amazing. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't like apple, but I really like that pastry. Oh my God. The apple on that tree should be proud of itself. All of the other apples should be thoroughly ashamed. This looks like a Krispy Kreme donut. I have not seen donuts this good on a cruise ship before. It is huge. Not included, yeah, there'd be extra charge. Completely free. It's got Oreos on top and it's massive. Let's take a big old eat of it. Sweet, heavenly, divine child. That is absolutely, I'm gonna have to take another bite. I'm really sorry guys. You're just gonna have to bear with me. Dare I say that's better than Krispy Kreme? heaven.com forward slash I'm done. Oops, a little bit of Ben's donut ended up in my breakfast. Oh, sorry. That is a really good, solid English breakfast. All the items are hot. The, um, the potato, what do you call them things again? Hash browns. The hash browns are nice because they're not too greasy. None of it's too greasy, actually. Very good, decent English breakfast. Good start to the day. Obviously, I'm going to try the hash brown test. You know how much I love them. Crispy, crunchy, not greasy. I hate a greasy hash brown. It's kept its posture. It's kept its form. It's a good piece of potato. Oh my gosh, that yep. is delicious. We're late. We're always late. We're always late, as per. That took so long to film, so we're running to the bumper cars. It's Ben versus David in the bumper car challenge. Let's do this. So we're here at the bumper cars. We are so excited. We haven't done this for years. It is free, but you have to book it on the app. Do it on the app. If you don't, you will not get in because it does fill up really quickly. So as soon as you get on board the ship, get on the app and pick the times you want to book. You can book more than one time on our cruise anyway. Oh 
my god, I think these kids are on drugs. They're like smashing into each other like no end. I think there's some drink driving going on here. Maybe too much orange juice or chocolate milk. This also doubles up as a bigger venue as well. So they do table tennis, badminton, and during non-COVID times, they even do rollerblading in discos in here, which is so cool. Here we go, David. Sanitize our hands. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I think I've got whiplash. Oh my god, this is, these are chicken quite fast. No, That was so, so much fun. They actually go really fast. And even though it's two minutes, it's such a fun experience. And you can do it as many times as you like on this sailing anyway. But yeah, an absolute well. adrenaline rush. Really great start to the day. We absolutely love the bumper cars. Well, 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 it's a vastly different picture to yesterday. Blue skies and sunshine has been replaced with grey skies and a chilly breeze. Honestly, we only came a few miles back north, back to England, and already the weather has changed. So today we're gonna to do something different and quite special for us. We're gonna to go to Coastal Kitchen, which is the restaurant for our sweet guests on board. But we've been kindly invited by the maitre d' who watches our videos and said he'd like to host us for lunch, which is really cool, so. Yeah, sure. let's go. Hi there. Hi. Hi. So as David said, we're very lucky to try this out. This is the sweet only restaurant. So it's just for sweet guests. Uh, for the bigger sweets you get to eat, eat here during the day, the smaller sweets sweet you get to eat during the evening. Now it's open every day for breakfast, lunch and dinner, even on port days, unlike the main dining room, which is really cool. So we're really looking forward to trying it. It's very classy in here. The service so far is excellent as it's been all around the ship. But yeah, we're looking forward to bringing you something a little bit different. So we hope you enjoy. So we've got a fresh bread selection, which is all baked fresh on board with uh, three different butters or spreads. We've got a um, herb butter, we've got baba ganoush and we've got an olive spread as well. So this looks like a lovely start to the meal. So I've got a baby spinach salad with cashew nuts and blue cheese on top. Bursting with flavour, the, um, the cashew nuts are really nice and crunchy, the baby spinach is really nice and fresh and it's got a really nice fresh like lemon drizzle on the top as well. And I got the mozzarella and tomato flatbread. So flatbread, the younger cousin or the smaller cousin of the pizza. The posher cousin of the pizza. And it's apparently just came out the oven because they're made to order so it takes about 10 minutes but we're happy to wait 10, min 10 minutes for absolutely beautiful fresh food. It smells delicious, it smells like Rome in here or Italy or Napoli. Oh, it's, oh, it's very um, it's very light. Let's have a taste of it. The pizza should be afraid because the flatbread's coming for it. It's really tasty. Oh, so cheesy. Really sweet tomatoes, some fresh basil on top. A little bit of pesto and things. Absolutely wonderful. De-freaking-licious. This looks amazing. I got the spicy swordfish. It comes in a bed of couscous with a lovely sauce on the top. So I'm going to try it all together. So the top's got like a lemony sauce, but then we can feel the spice coming through afterwards as well. Absolutely packed full of flavor. That is really wonderful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got the grilled cheese with truffles and fries. So that's three courses of bread. I think I'm having a very carb bread heavy meal, but I'm not ashamed of it and I'm not going to apologize for it because it's delicious. Now, I hope this is as good as it looks. Let's have a taste. I'm going in manually and eating it with fingers. You've got to. You can't eat a grilled cheese with a knife and fork, can you? Let's have a taste. I'm going in. Could that brie any more amazing? To the cheese heaven gods. You're dripping. Oh, you're dripping, Ben. Oh, yeah, girl. It's absolutely delicious. Oof, I'm glad we came here now. Thanks for the invite to the lovely maitre d'. Delicious, as usual. So I got the rum cake. I love rum cake. Nice and fluffy. Has it got a boozy in it? Is it boozy? It's not too boozy, actually. I do like a little bit more booze, but that's just a personal thing. But it's a very nice cake. And I got a maple syrup tart. Now this is going to be delicious, I can tell. Love a good tart, obviously. Really lovely. Notes of honey, maple syrup. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Wonderful, gorgeous. Sorry, it's very bright in here. It's the one restaurant that has windows all the way across. 
Got a beautiful view now of the English Channel. Could probably use some sunglasses because it is so bright. On the plus side, Ben, you look very young and very well lit. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. That was absolutely de freaking delicious. Honestly, so good. If you're in a suite, you're in for such a treat. But that brings us on nicely. We're not going to eat, but we're going to go to the wind jammer. Loving this signage that's being placed very nicely together. So we're going to pop into the wind jammer buffet to take a look what it's like at dinner time and lunchtime. At the moment during COVID, it's not open during dinner time. You've got to eat at the main dining room or one of the other places, but usually it is open. So. Let's head in there. Definitely not going to eat anything because I'm so full. But let's go and have a look to see what it's like. So here we are in the Windjammer Buffet. And it feels like two minutes ago that we were here for breakfast. But now we've come to see what's on for lunch. Let's start at the bakery section. They've got lots of sweet treats and um, all freshly baked, all the bread rolls and stuff. They always have a cake as well that they always decorate. And um, this one says, thank you for cruising with us. Oh, It's so nice. We don't want to leave, guys. We don't. Keep us on here, we want to stay. Right, should we look around? Yeah, let's start um, from the fresh from the garden section. So first things first. Hi, afternoon. Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, they've got meats and cheeses and cold cuts. There's also fresh fruit there. And over on this side, there is a um, salad section. So they've got all lettuces. They've got tons of actually salad options, which is really nice. Cheeses again, there's like eggs and lots and lots of salad bits. And what they do is they put it all together in a big bowl and they'll toss it for you with your sauce. We've got the two soups of the day. We've got the vegetable one and a carrot soup today. And the uh, fruit section looks awesome. They've got huge, big chunks of fruit available for you. And over on this side is the hot meals selection. So it does change every day. So this is where you have your main dishes, gravies, meats. There's always a carvery station as well. And um, yeah, lots of different options. You always find like fish as well. So today's fish is grilled salmon. And they've also got a traditional Irish lamb stew today, which is wonderful. Again, this is just um, similar to the other side, even more of the hot meal options. So we've got some chicken, we've got curries, potatoes, lots and lots of things like that. So lots and lots of choice. The dessert section, Ooh. my gosh, there is so much choice. There's hot and cold desserts. So they've got cakes, there's jellies, and again, more cakes on the other side as well. So at the back of the buffet, you'll find the Indian section and the world section as well. Again, more salad options over here. And then at the back, you'll also get an Asian section where they always do noodles and they're all like made to order. So they're all super, super fresh. Next is the made to order sandwich section. And these are all hot sandwiches. So they'll have three different options. These are just examples and they'll press them for you with a panini press uh, there as well. And then we have the pizza station with a couple of different pizza options. They all look super tasty. And then we have the pasta section. Again, it's made to order, so you can choose whatever sauces, whatever toppings and fillings you want, and they'll put it all together in the pan and make it for you there in front of you. And then finally, we have the classics. We've got your hot dogs, your burgers, your fries, all the things like that and all the toppings that go with them as well. And at the very, very back, we've got another little pasta section. It just never ends, does it? It never ends, honestly. And at the moment as well, there's even stations that are not open because we are at reduced capacity that they don't need to. So there is an even bigger selection usually. But well done to Royal Caribbean putting yeah. on so much food for a thousand Absolutely. people. Absolutely. I've not seen anything that is, a, that is missing. Um, it seems like the full selection and the food seems just as good as it was before the lockdown. So there's been absolutely no cutbacks there, which we are so happy to see because that is our favorite thing. So as you can see, it truly is impressive. I really don't think many cruise lines come close to the buffet offerings on Royal Caribbean. I mean, the food is, it's not just a lot of it, it's excellent food as well. When it comes to serving you, basically the same apart from you don't pick the things yourself so there's no tongs the crew member will ask you what you want you just put your plate forward and they will serve you you can get as much or as little as you want i am nervous the time has come to try out the floor rider i'm going to be straight with you guys there's a first time for everything but i'm really nervous i haven't ever done the floor rider before i've always put it off because you fall over and you can hurt yourself it looks amazing but i've got to admit i'm a little bit terrified 
shaky shaky i can do this i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it for myself and i'm gonna do it to show you that everybody can do it as well let's do this david i'm all ready i'm all dressed i'm just hoping i don't get my shorts ripped off or anything like that because this could become very very messy and nobody wants to see that so let's go got me towels i'm ready to do this come on i can do this so i'm all signed up you have to sign your life away and accept all responsibility because obviously this is a an actual sport where you can get hurt gosh guys why on earth am i doing this but hey we'll get through it and we'll do it so let's go got me band on to show that i've been signed up and that i'm good to go let's go the time has came to flow rider for my life let's do this the crew really are fantastic and give you guidance on what to do and honestly it was fantastic it really isn't as hard as it looked Look, no hands, Mum. That was intense, but very good. Oh, can't believe I actually... Oh, my heart's gone boom, 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 boom. That's really good. I'm knackered now. I'm buzzing now. My heart is racing. Honestly, that was really good. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Absolutely try it out. It is a bit scary at first. That water is very fast. But it doesn't hurt when you fall off. I fell off. We're going to have a quick dip in the pool and maybe 10 minutes in the hot tub because I think Ben needs to chill out, calm down after the floor rider. Oh, David, it's that time again. Have you got sunburned? Oh my gosh, I'm really, really sunburned on the top of my head. You really are. You've got a red head. I know. I need to. I don't. Have I got a red? Don't a like red it. head. Red head. I know. It really does burn though. Like last night, I could feel the heat radiating from the top of my head. The troubles have been a bald locks, guys. <laughs> I meant boohoo. We're packing. Oh, I think we're boohoo for my sunburn. No boohoo that we've got to go home. I know. This is the worst bit. So on the last day of your cruise, because we actually got this this morning, which is even worse, you'll receive all the information about getting off the ship. So you'll receive a inflammation, inflammation? In, well, you've got inflammation, inflammation of the head. You'll receive an information leaflet telling you all about what to do on the last day, where to go for breakfast, and the times you'll have to get off the ship. There's numbers on here that relate to the tags that you are given to put on your bag. We are number eight. We are seven oh, you, and eight. You don't want to know. Have you seen this already? Like? Yes. 7.15 a.m. 7.15? That's the time we've got to get off the ship. They've got to be having a laugh. Eesh, there's no chance. I'm not... 7.15? I am not getting up that early. Have, that's earlier than normal, isn't it? A lot earlier than normal. 7.15, so that means that we've got to get up at half six. Oh. Is there even anywhere for breakfast then or anything? Yeah, this place is open for breakfast. So Windjammer's open from 6am tomorrow till 8.30am. And other main dining rooms open as well from 6.30 as well. Oh, that's good. That's good. But that means you've got to get up at 6 if you want to oh, go no. to the main dining room. So you place these on all of the pieces of luggage that you want taken off the ship for you. And you place it outside of your door, usually before midnight. And it's picked up and you pick it up at the port. But you do have the option... Just carry everything off carry yourself if you want. Off. To be honest, the last couple of cruises, we prefer to just carry it off ourselves because we bring things like our own blanket, our own pillow. And tripods and things. And tripods and clothes. And obviously, if you've put your bag out, you can't then pack them. So we like to just take the stuff off ourselves. But if you do put the bag outside, as we always say, remember to leave some clothes out for tomorrow and some toiletries as well. Otherwise, you'll have nothing to wear in morning to get off the ship. Okay, so we're going to get this done and then we're going to get ready for dinner go to see some trivia mm -hmm. and a final meal in wonderland yes we are honestly guys there's no tips for packing when it comes to uh packing our bag on the last day we literally just throw it all in pack layers that's a good point pack layers for pack. different types of weather yes definitely but yeah we just throw it all in you'll also on the last day be given a paper copy of your bill as well outlining all of your charges to see how much money you've spent and you'll also receive an extra tip envelope now tips are taken care of automatically usually so they automatically come off every day but if you do want to give something a little bit extra to somebody on board or your room steward or stewardess for example you get a little envelope where you can pop in cash 
they like any type of cash usually pounds euros or dollars anything's fine it's so sad but everything has an ending and we've had a good cruise so that's all that matters okay so we're here in the music hall again for some more trivia this time it's netflix and chill god knows how we'll deal with this we do watch a few netflix shows like orange is the new black and what else do we watch i can't think of what else but we do watch a lot of netflix whether or not the questions come up we'll find out but yeah lots of trivia on through the day different types there's been disney trivia on british theme tunes trivia american theme tunes logo quizzes you name it it's on all the way throughout the day curious to see how this works we've got three rounds we've got audio visuals and synopsis and there's 30 questions i'm gonna be here all night Quite we can hard. go to the like, West. We watch a lot of Netflix, right? and there's a quite a few I'd have no Don, clue on. Don, let's see, number five. Number five goes like this. Yeah. Guys, I'm absolutely shooketh. I think that is legitimately the first trivia we've won in probably about four years. We were determined we were coming third. We've got a bag in a bag, each North Star. Yay, go us. Seriously, that literally we never, ever, ever win. But that was so much fun, wasn't it? It was really fun. I'm honest to God, I, my mouth was like, what? I know. I can't believe we won. Oh, David, you look really proud with your little I'm, bags. Do you know what? I am dead chuffed. I can't believe we won these. They look like a pair of <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, we can't help ourselves. Hi. <laughs> look at that chair, David. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a throne. You are on a throne. Bring me my food. You're basically royalty. I know. Can we get two of these at home? Could you imagine these in our living room at home while watching TV? I think they're a bit op opulent. <laughs> opulent. Opulent. The opulence is too much. We're in Wonderland um, and we're super excited for tonight's dinner because it's a culinary experience like no other based on Alice in Wonderland. It's a very strange menu with um, Gastro is that the word gastronomy 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 yeah. so like small dishes that are really unique flavors and they look really awesome as well so can't wait to show you everything that we're going to enjoy tonight it's a really cool restaurant it's very well themed it's probably like the most themed restaurant that we've been on on royal caribbean yeah so all the color is the wrong way around it it's feels so weird creative. i love the theming detail yeah, very well themed. It reminds me of something like Disney would do. So we got a little selection of everything. First of all, I'm going to try the eggs in a nest, which actually looks like an, an eggs in a nest nest, and it always smoky when it came out, which was really lovely. It smells like church. Right, I'm going to eat this egg half whole. It's nice. It just tastes like an egg with some salt on it, but smoky. It's got like smoky flavours. I feel like I've smoked 25 cigarettes and then ate an egg. But yeah, it's really nice. It's, it's, it's very tasty. Oh, getting a bit of heat now as well. A bit of heat in the back of the mouth there. So my next one is mushroom risotto with some little balls on top. Who doesn't like risotto with some balls on top? And it's got some parmesan in there as well in this cute little spoon. So should we do it all in one? I think, Down in one? I think it's supposed to go in one. I don't like that. Why, is it too mushroomy for you? No. It's, I can't explain it. It's very hard to explain. It's, it tastes like um, gravy. Very strange. But I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that one. Much prefer the eggs there, much nicer. We've got some tomato water, which seems to be, it seems to be dying in front of me. It's starting to, <laughs> oh, starting to drip down. It's starting to cry. It's starting to it looks cry. Really sad. So it's purified tomato water with some little balls and some cream on top. So in a test tube, I was going to say it's quite apt as well, isn't it? In the time of COVID that I'm eating from a test tube. Yeah, make sure you don't spit into this one, Ben. We're not on Viking. Right, I'm not. I'm going to do this very quickly so nobody sees, but I'm going to lick the cream off the side because it's dripping down onto my finger. That's legitimately sweet cream. It's like spray cream. Oh, really? That's not what I expected, right? Oh, it's very, very oh, it's bizarre. It's, it's legitimately tomato in water form. I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's, it's tomato in water form. David, you've got one too. And then I've got this lovely little corn of gelato. No, 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 you don't eat that. Oh, it's crab, that that's fish? fish. Oh no. That'd be a fishy gelato. Oh, so that's it for me. A, t a, t a test tube and a spoon full of food. I'm going to be starving. I'm going to need pizza after this. It tastes good though, but. So I got the liquefied lobster, which is a lobster, lobster, lobster. Is it lobster? David's in a nursing home and needs liquefied food now. Put my teeth in. <laughs> Put your Put teeth, teeth in. in. It's got caviar on the top. Down in one. What's that face? 
I don't know, it has a really strange texture. The lobster has a really strange, like, fine texture that kind of, like, separated in my mouth. Um, of the caviar on top, obviously, like, was bursts of caviar, which is really salty. And then the bisque just, it tastes like a nice lobster, lobster bisque scoop. Soup. So it would taste it nice. It was just a really strange texture of the um, the lobster. It's supposed to be confusing your senses, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like popping in my mouth. Oh, treat yourself. Let's go for the gelato. Oh, I thought that was mine. I'm really good. It's not. Oh, you could try it if you want, Ben. No, I'm good. Okay, so it's uh, two types of crab meat with wasabi. I think this is going to be hot, isn't it? It's, it just tastes like nice crab meat in a nice uh, little cone. Lovely. Should I try the wasabi at the bottom? Yeah, try the wasabi. Is that wasabi? I just got a massive hit of wasabi. It's a nice. It's nice. It's not as strong as I remember last time. And finally, cheers, David. Cheers. Got my espresso, a cup of shrimp. So the foam at the bottom has heat to it. That's got a lot. That's hotter than the wasabi, actually. And um, the shrimp's like crunchy on the outside with these. It's, it's actually quite nice, this one. I think this is the nicest one out of the three because it's got a nice heat to it and a nice crunch. I like this one. All right, well, I'm, st I'm starving. So I'm resorting to eating the nest because everything's supposed to be edible, I think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a bit of I'm going in. Sorry, chicks. I hope this wasn't your home. I think it tastes like paper. It's probably paper and I've just ate it. Yeah, probably. But it's huge, so why put that on my plate if I can't eat it? We've got another starter, which mine is a deconstructed caprese salad, which, uh, what I love he said, a destroyed tomato. So it was a tomato, then it was all mashed up with other things and then made back into a tomato again. A destroyed tomato, I do love destroying food. So let's have a taste. It's very strange, very unique very unique textures like you said do you know what it's actually it's actually fairly nice oh there's like jello blobs on here as well like blobs of my gosh it's like a, a work of art i'm destroying this beautiful tomato that's already been destroyed twice destroyed so i got ceviche tuna with a yuzu form on the top and a piece of parmesan on the side it actually has a really nice flavor really lovely wow this is ridiculous so they've served my snap crackle and pork on what looks like a chandelier i could wear this as a hat to a wedding it's, it's campest, beautiful the campest plate i've ever seen it's massive so it's slow roasted pork for over seven hours and crackling which i love on top as well it's really good mm, beautiful flavors really delicious so i got the branzino finish in crispy bread i do have to say though Presentation wise, it's quite disappointing compared to Ben's. It looks like a brick. It does, or like a wax strip. It's okay, it's not the most flavourful thing I've had. But it's got nice texture. It's not offensive. I think that's the, um, that's what I'm thinking of. It's not offensive. So I got the world dessert and they pour a hot caramel sauce over the top. How amazing is this? And oh my gosh. It is heavenly above it is delicious rich gorgeous all of the amazing descriptive words that you want in a dessert perfection honestly one of my favorite desserts i've ever had delicious is not even the word this is amazing i don't want to destroy it because it he's looks so pretty it. he says oh as he's destroyed it and I just put my hand in all the meringue. So it's white chocolate, red velvet. Uh, is it peach? And uh, oh, oh, it looks amazing. Lovely meringues, all sorts of goodness. Sweet, delicious. It was beautiful. Now it's a mess. And it was beautiful, but now I destroyed it. Oh my gosh, David. It looks like a road traffic accident. It looks like a car hit a mushroom and it went very wrong. It looks like somebody ran over me, me garden. A beautifully trimmed garden and a lorry just came and ploughed it. Oh, back in the cabin for last time. Our battery died before we left Wonderland, but it was fantastic. Honestly, I was feeling a little bit disappointed with the starters, with the appetizers. I was like a little bit underwhelmed. But then when my main dish came and then that dessert, oh my God, outstanding. It was a little bit underwhelming for me, but I enjoyed my starters. So now we're going to chill out. We might stick Netflix on because the internet's been really good for that. We've been able to stream Netflix and everything so easily. We bought the package. Oh my gosh, we've just came out to the balcony and 
what a sunset that is Beautiful that sunset. is legitimately spectacular isn't it yeah oh my god look at the look at the sea look at the the sea i know i think we've actually stopped it looks fake it looks like glass yeah we were just discussing funnily enough about how on this ship with one thing we've noticed is like none of the restaurants or bars have like great views of the outside so we didn't even notice this until we came into our cabin which yeah, is, it um, is missing like a sky bar or a something, sky isn't bar, it? Like, or like just even a restaurant with, I mean, the buffet has um, beautiful views, but yeah, because we didn't even notice this because we're, we're inside. But we're going to go to bed now and chill out and we'll see you in the morning and we'll film us getting off and uh, do a wrap up then. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Time to go to bed. Gosh, guys, it's 7 a.m. and they've already called our cabin to leave. That is incredibly early. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we haven't really had time to have breakfast then, so we've literally just got to leave. It's very, very early. I know they're cleaning the ship due to COVID and things, but oh, expect a very early start. We've done our cabin sweep, so every time we leave a cabin, we check every single drawer, we check under the bed, we're checking all the wardrobes, all of the cupboards, everything like that, just to make sure we have everything. Yeah. And we're all packed and ready to go. As we said yesterday, we are walking off with our luggage. So we're just taking everything off that we brought on with us. Right, here we go for one last time. Let's go. Goodbye, lovely cabin. It may have been an early start, but the disembarkation was very smooth. We have to say Royal Caribbean did such a fantastic job. Everything was great. Everything was smooth and seamless. Here's where you would normally pick up your luggage, but as you saw, we took our own off. You just go to the number that was on your tag. There we go, back outside. Ah, so that's it for our cruise. We are so sad. Do please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. It really helps us create more free content for you. Also, a big thank you to all of our patrons. It's because of your support that we're able to continue with the channel and continue to self-fund trips just like this one. If you'd like to find out more about becoming a patron, click the link in the description section below and in return, you get lots of benefits like the monthly Zoom chat. And next Sunday, we'll be uploading a brand new ship tour of the whole of the ship. Then the week after, we're on the P&O Iona on the first ever cruise. And we're going to bring you loads of content on that. So you must join us. That's it till next time. Happy cruising. Happy cruising.